how much do you guys think a programmer makes? Um, one million dollars. <laughs>
skinny pants and with some dress shoes on, yeah. brown dress shoes. Yeah, she has to look nice, yeah. Right, right, right. Um, I just imagine like, yeah, like a nerdy guy like at a computer just like typing, <laughs> I don't know. That's funny, my husband owns his own computer business, but he just wears like a polo shirt and nice shorts or pants. And I met a lot of computer programmers, so they're actually not close to the stereotypes at all. Like they, they wear like nice suits and stuff, well off men. All right, now let's talk about the job market. Okay, so so far you've been following me along, you're like, this is great, Kazi, I wanna do this, whatever this very thing is. So let me give you a little bit about what kind of jobs you can get. The job market for a computer programmer looks pretty fantastic. Now, don't get me confused by thinking that it's um, instantly easy to become a programmer. That's not. I personally myself have failed a tremendous amount of times, you guys, while I was trying to become a computer programmer. And even to this day, day, I fail over and over again. Anything that has a true value, you know from personal experience that it's hard. There are 1.4 million job openings for computer programming every single year. However, the number of college computer science graduates is only 400,000, which means Money, money for you. How does that translate to that? There's a 1 million people per year window open just for you. Compared to all other jobs or most other jobs, the job of software technology is growing at a 17% rate every single year, okay? So the growth, the projected outlook all the way up to 20, uh, 2024 is only growing. Now, let's talk about the money you can make from computer programming. <clears throat> what do you think computer programmers make annually? Okay, I know that women make a lot more money in the field because they're like, they don't have a lot of women in the field right now. So I'd say maybe like 70, 60, like starting maybe like 60, I don't know. So if you're a girl, <laughs> you know what you need to start doing. <laughs> Um, 80,000. Probably like 70 to 90,000. Well, a lot. It's a really good skill to have. I'm guessing like around 50,000, maybe more. 50,000 dollars. 92. 92. Very specific. So, at this point, you're like, oh yeah, I'm excited. So, let's talk about it. 2015 statistics show that the average median salary is $100,490. That is a pretty good median salary, right? Not many jobs might start off with that. Glassdoor.com that say, if you look at a specific area like Chicago, the median salary might be $85,000, give or take. Now, why is the average, why is the range so different? It depends on where you live. If you live in the Silicon Valley, the heart of technology, you are going to be getting paid more for the jobs most of the times. If you're living in other places like Chicago, it might be a little bit less than the top, you know, the $100,000 that you could potentially be making. Why you might actually really enjoy your job more than just the money is the amount of impact that you're making. Most of the programmers are able to work either from their office or remotely. This way, this means you get to spend more time with your family, you get to spend more time with your friends. So if you're working with, let's say, a company like Microsoft, you're affecting and influencing the lives of millions of people. So your role in the society is very important. And as one of my really smart friends once said, your rewards in life are exactly proportional, no less and no more than the contribution you make in your society. Did you let that sink in? Good because programming allows you to make a tremendous amount of contribution to the society simply because it lets you scale instantly. So that great, amazing idea that you had, yeah, now everybody is using it and it's changing their lives. Okay guys, so at this point, I think that hopefully this video has blown your brains to bits and you're like, this is fantastic. What can I do to get started? You're looking for that sign up button for success. Unfortunately, I don't have a sign up button for success, but I do have a button to subscribe. So click that, stay tuned for my videos because not only will I make videos based on entertainment and how fun programming is, but a lot of them are based on tutorials. So watching these tutorials, you yourself can learn how to computer, how to program and how to get started in it. And if you're worried and you're not ready to make that dip into 
majoring in computer science and paying a heck of a lot of money for something that you can maybe learn on your own or at least get your feet wet and see what it's about, check out my tutorials. If you, see, if you don't like it, well, just start watching the video and leave the channel. It's as simple as that, right? But if you do like it, stay by, watch more videos. You're welcome to be here. It's mi casa es su casa, right? My house is your house, as they say in Spanish. Anyways, it's been really exciting, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like it if you liked it. Other than that, I love every one of you guys. I will see you in the next video. Boom! Do you, do you enjoy it? Or is this something that you're just like, meh, it's okay? <laughs> no, enjoy it. Yes. Yeah, not you, enjoy it. Yes. You don't enjoy it? Yes. No. Are you okay with this being on YouTube? Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's fine. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Can I put this on YouTube? Oh, okay, yes. Last question, very important. Uh, can we put this on YouTube? Yeah. Most certainly, yes. Cool. Right, uh, and just last thing, is this okay if we choose to put it on YouTube? Go for it. Is this okay if we put this on YouTube? Yes, I'm fine. Can we put that on YouTube? Yeah. Go, Go yes. Yeah. Amazing. Thank Ruby, so nice to meet you. Well, where do I find you guys? Uh, clever, clever the channel name is called cleverprogrammer.com.